So I have a whole bunch of uh, winter fat biking content up on the channel and some people are probably wondering what it is that I wear when I go out fat biking because uh, it does get cold. The rule of thumb with fat biking is you should always dress warm enough that you're not going to end up with frostbite or something but you should actually be feeling the cold for the first five minutes of the ride because after that your body's working and you've got blood pumping through you and your temperature starts going up. So I'm just making this quick gear video to show you all what it is that I use when I go out fat biking and it might give you some ideas. I'm going to cover off, this is for your torso, your upper body. Uh, this will be for your legs and then we're going to go over your extremities. And then we're going to show some uh, equipment for when it's really, really cold. But we'll start over here. So this is an athletic compression top. It's long sleeved. Uh, the important thing about this is it's moisture wicking. So when you sweat, you don't have that sweat just sitting against your skin and, you know, possibly giving you that frostbite. Uh, this t-shirt, it's an athletic t-shirt. It's also moisture wicking. Gives an extra layer of insulation um, underneath the jacket but it also takes away that sweat so that it doesn't sit against the skin. Uh, then my jacket, uh, this is a Heli Hansen, I believe the model's Paramount. Yeah, it's a Paramount series jacket. Uh, it's a kind of waterproof, but it's quite warm. The sleeves themselves are thinner than the actual main jacket, so uh, your torso stays a bit warmer than your arms. And it's a really good jacket for the money. Uh, then these are long johns. So these are Saks branded long johns. I just like the fit of them. They have this extra stitching and this extra, like these pockets to tighten up against your calves and everything else. So they don't slide down or ride up like a lot of other kinds of long johns would. Uh, and then these... Uh, some workout pants, but they unzip at the ankle there uh, Just because I like a nice tight cuff to stop the breeze getting in So once these are zipped up with a nice thick pair of socks on you're not going to be getting those cold ankles Now we'll move on to the extremities. This is a buff and it's made of merino wool So if you don't know what a buff is Yeah, it's going good until it did that so this is how you wear the buff, and this just creates a nice coverage of your neck up towards your ears and everything else. This is why I've grown in a beard for the winter, because between the buff and the beard it just covers in everything. So next we've got my riding helmet, and this is actually a purpose-made winter helmet. Uh, this is a Smith Maze, and it is actually a ski helmet. It's got these built-in earmuffs, and they're nice and thick, and they're soft. And there's actually a pocket in here, so if you want to install some Bluetooth headphones, they will install inside of here. Uh, the nice thing about it is all of this is sealed, so it doesn't get, like, super cold from air blasting in. Uh, but it does have the channels to allow airflow, so you don't get the itch. Uh, it does have these ducts here, and that goes into these vents on top of your gogs and that blasts down so that your goggles don't fog up. And these goggles are Oakley, uh, they are full line XL and I need these guys because I wear glasses and if you can see in there, over in the side here, the frame's actually cut out. So when you're wearing glasses, you can pull this over and it doesn't jam the frame into the side of your head. Uh, next up, these are just some standard issue. They're from the Mountain Equipment Company, but they're a fleece-lined glove. I think these were about 30 bucks. And they've got these little touch pads that are conductive, so it will work with touch screens and cell phones. So when you're out riding and you need to send a text or you need to take a picture, these guys will work. Uh, then for socks, I prefer smart wool socks. These are merino wool as well. Uh, you really can't beat merino wool for the warmth to weight ratio, but it's not cheap. And then finally, my actual winter riding boots are waterproof Morel hiking boots. 
I've used Morel hiking boots as my winter riding boot for the last three winters and they've just been superb with the sealing it's all sealed in here so because it's all sealed up it minimizes airflow so your feet just don't get cold in these guys especially when you team it up with these socks so now the next thing I'm going to show you is what happens when it is really really cold and what I wear okay so the first thing I have when it's really cold are uh, the pogies, you might call them bar mitts. So these were created for snow machiners, and the cool thing about them is, if we have a look on this one, this goes over the handlebars. So all the controls, the handlebars in here with all the controls in here, so you can put your hand in, and you've got access to the brakes and the handlebars, the shifter, everything is inside of here, and it's nicely sealed against your arm, well, it'll be sealed against your jacket so you don't have that cold breeze blowing straight over so the nice thing with this is you can wear those thinner gloves and still have that uh, control that feel but you won't have the wind blasting you with uh, the chill like you would without them uh, the next thing is and these are smart socks but um, smart wool socks are a regular thickness is like this these guys I don't know if you can make that out but these socks are about three times thicker all the way around than a regular smart sock so these will keep your feet a lot warmer and your ankles warmer than those other ones at much deeper temperatures then the final part of the equation is my deep winter jacket now this guy has an internal liner that you can unzip. It's got multiple layers of insulation. It's very heavy duty. It's a waterproof shell. It's a windproof shell. This is quilted inside, so there's a liner inside of this part of the jacket. There is another liner inside this part of the jacket. Plus you've got this plush material inside. And with this jacket, I have personally changed the radiator in a Honda Civic in minus 35 degrees and broken into a sweat so when it is properly real cold this is the jacket to turn to so i've just gotten back from the ride it's minus 16 degrees celsius and i wanted to add in a couple of things for that gear video which is um, i do actually have a merino wool base layer which i'm wearing right now so merino wool is great because it's so compact and light and it wicks away moisture it's just kind of really expensive but merino base layer merino buff and everything else is made for a nice warm ride but i wanted to show you a couple of pro tips first one is the waist on this jacket it has a cincher but i always run it uh, I don't do up the cinch because what will happen is when you sit down it will ride up and then when you stand up it stays cinched up to here so you end up with a cold spot running around the perimeter of your waist so that's my first pro tip um, the other one is with the pogies I stuff socks in here so that's just a pair of clean gem socks that I've stuffed in the ends because you can't really cinch it all the way down. You see that here? You can't fully cinch it down because you'll bust up your hoses and cables. So if you stuff a sock in there, it stops that draft getting in there. So at minus 16, you can still wear these really light gloves. 